everybody it's your boy here to give you guys a review for the little women of atlanta so y'all already know I, I already got my long island no ice yes i got my tea ready i hope y'all got y'all shit ready let's talk about this shit now many said now we pick up where we left off now many says to juicy she had a miscarriage. No, I'm sorry. No, she she uh, missed her period. So that's when she initially thought that she was pregnant. But you know, of course, I'm guessing we're not taking no damn uh, you know, uh, piss test. What the fuck you call it? First response. First response. You didn't go to the doctor. You didn't do none of that. And you just went ahead and buried that out again. All this shit full circle. Like, I'm not bothered. And juicy whole thing is she's just like she says to her, try to give her an encouraging word. This just wasn't your time. I had a miscarriage. That wasn't my time. It just is what it is. You feel what I'm saying? And even said, look, we've been here before. Let us not get back here again. Meaning, lied about Pastor Troy, and then it came out, okay, you know, he's not really my man, this and third. Now, you know, I'm pregnant, had this miscarriage. I was never pregnant. So let's just not come back to this place again. Now, with all that being said, we already know that Juicy went back and, you know, spilled the tea. And the twins are feeling some kind of way because of the lie. And their whole thing is, okay, well, what else is she lying about? Andrea is just like, you know what? She can't be the goddaughter. We just can't have that. You know what I'm saying? The only reason that they did it is because she, you know, had a miscarriage. Trying to, you know, sit here and be respectful of that. And I think they're truly upset the fact that she told Juicy first before telling them because they're supposed to be her girls. But if we all sit here and call it what it is, y'all were never really her girls because the person that she has the most connections with is Juicy, if y'all think about the whole lineage of timeline. So I understood why she went to her, and I guess it was to soften everything up. Now, Minnie and Cora, they get to talking, and Minnie says she wants to unify the group. With a birthday party for herself. That is the dumbest shit I'd have never fucking heard. And because she's also moving out on her own. But I'm just like, okay, hey, do shit, do you, woo boo? Do you? What what else? Now, Cora says that uh, you had me doing this. How the fuck she had you doing anything? You are the mother. You are a grown ass woman. So the fact that you sat here and you threw a plate of our uh, wings on on our juicy. You chose to do that as a grown-ass woman. The fact that you went along with this lie, you chose to do that. Like, I, I, I can't fucking get past that. And then she's just like, don't drag me into no more of this mess. You allowed yourself to... It's one where it's like, Cora not taking responsibility. I'm going to need for Mabel to come snatch up Cora and get her ass together. And I'm trying... And I, I'm telling y'all, if this shit happened again in season four, I, I, I can, I, I'm going to treat... Many in her situation, like Kirk and Rashida, of Love Hip Hop Atlanta. Every time I get to their portion, I'm moving the fuck past it. Y'all think I'm fucking playing? What else I had to say? Uh, it was something else before we get to tying them. Ah, damn it, y'all, real come on now. What is it? Oh, I'm trying to figure out. Maybe y'all can help me understand this. Why is it that whenever I like I said. I'm 30. My mother is older. Of course, you know, I ain't gonna say how old she is. If she ever sees this mother in the video, she gonna snap the fuck off like, why the fuck you tell me how old I am? But even when I'm wrong, even when I do shit, my mother does not talk to me like I'm fucking seven years old. Yet Cora talks to me like she said. That just because the bitch looks seven and the size of a fucking seven year old don't mean that she need to be talked to like that. Like, on some real shit, like, stop passing. You know what? Let me stop. Because I'm, I'm going down a rabbit hole. Bring it back. So, Tanya, Tanya says that a friend of hers told her before, before she moved to um, Atlanta that um, Minnie had a pass. So she waits until all this shit popped out to Google her. I don't know who said it. I really don't know who said it. Somebody said it. Uh, I think in my, I, and like I said, I've been watching a few new people. This guy named Andre. I'll try to link uh, his channel down below. Boy, be having my ass rolling. I ain't even gonna fucking lie. Like, I just started watching him because it's only a few people that actually review this show. Bruh, like, he had me fucking rolling this shit. 
But somebody was just like, there's no way in the fucking hell that you didn't came on. No, I think it was Alexander Roch. I think it was him. There's no way that you, I'll link his, uh, his uh, channel down below too. There's no way you came on this show. You didn't watch the last two fucking seasons. So you acted like you already don't know about this bitch. You know what I'm saying? So it was like you came on ready. And if you are, it, it would have been one thing had she said, you know, a friend told me and I Google her back when I was there. But no, of course, we got to play it up for the camera. So you Google her right then to show it to Tanya. Now, she could have said a friend of mine told me stuff about her. I chose to give her the benefit of the doubt. But after this, I decided to had she did it that way. I would have believed it just a little bit. Now, Tanya tells Sam that Sam says she does not like a liar, which I I got you. Feel you on that. And then Sam, you know, feels that they should talk to, aka confront me. And Tanya feels betrayed. And it's just like, you don't know the bitch from Adam. Granted, yes, you done, you done brought the bitch up in your house. You done sat here, you know, lit him up. You know, you know, you teddy pin the grass, lighting candles, lighting incense, putting over the body, sitting here doing the portion wisdom and shit. I got you. I got you. But you chose to do that. And of course, I, I'm telling you, whoo, Tanya is messy. And the fact that Tanya is going to use Sam to for, for the turn up, mm, putting batteries in bitches' backs. I'll be back. Okay, so not a whole lot happened. Um, Moreland is now a truck driver because, you know, he got to sit here and pay the bills. Allow, you know, uh, Moni to, you know, follow her dreams and this year that pay for the expensive ass wedding again. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave that wedding shit alone. Uh, <laughs> now, Moni's biological father and other baby brothers show up. Uh, she mentions how her parents split when uh, she was two years old. And, you know, for those who've been rocking with me, y'all know I lost my father, like, you know, last May. So even hearing that, that, I swear, it seems like almost everything is gonna make me relive a whole lot of things. You know what I'm saying? But, um, cause like I said, my parents split when I was two years old, but you know, I heard that, I was just like, whew. But anyway, they want to, you know, talk to Morley, you know, so we're going to have a replay, we're recycling storyline from last season, all right? Now, Sam and Amanda, you know, talk. Sam wants to tell Amanda about the uh, mugshot, but decides she ain't going to do it. Sam says she don't, tr is telling um, Amanda not to trust Minnie. And all this other shit. And Sammy said, I knew she was lying, but, you know, I was just playing along, you know, trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. I mean, but see, here's my whole thing. For everybody that's so mad, if you knew she was lying, then, Sam, if you knew she was lying, then why are you so in your fucking feelings when the truth comes out? Because if you knew she was lying, you shouldn't be this motherfucking mad. So, uh, somebody lying. I wonder who it is. Mm. All right, y'all, so... Money tells, and I always call her Moni. So if I ever say Moni, I mean Money, same damn person. But she tells uh, more about the pop up and meeting with her, you know, other relatives. And, you know, he feels kind of way, which I mean, shit, any motherfucker would, you know. And, you know, she is questioning, you know, their motives, whatever. Now, let me see. Uh, Minnie says that, uh, you know, she has his uh, place right across the street from where her mom is. So she still ain't off the titty. And uh, she says, you know, it has three bedrooms, you know, one for Aubrey. And, you know, Andrea feels some kind of way. Or is it? Yeah, I think it's Andrea. Andrea feels some kind of way. So she uh, and Minnie notices it. And even in her confessional, she's like, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to wait for them to say something. Okay, whatever. Because she says Andrea is, is acting cold. Now, uh, Moni, um, not Moni, Minnie. Minnie uh, said, well, the girl, the twins bring it up, their concerns. We've already talked, I've already mentioned what their concerns were. Minnie says, okay, you know what? No more lying. I'm not going to lie anymore. You know, telling the truth from here on out. And Andrea kind of just looks at her like, mm -hmm, whatever, bitch, and kind of, you know, dips out. So, Let's just say they're over it. Okay, so it looks like when it comes back off this next commercial, that shit gonna be lit. So, um, Juicy didn't fail, and she did, uh, sprain her knee. I so badly wanted to sit here and say some shit, but 
I think I've said enough short jokes on this particular review. So I'm not going to. But um Tanya shows up. Tanya said, you know, well, uh, that's why she brought over some tea to kind of help with, you know, the healing process. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna go in the kitchen. When I tell y'all, Juicy gave me my fucking life, but she was like, wait, hold on. You ain't going to be in my kitchen and cooking. And Tanya feels kind of way like, I can't boil water in her kitchen, but I, I, I own some real shit. I do feel, you know, uh, juicy. Because, I mean, like I said, I have a small kitchen. But even with that, I'm iffy about a motherfucker coming up in there. Because, like I said, that, that's what I could. That's why I does my shit. Plus, shit, if you cooking, I got to watch you. I don't know. Y'all might try. No, y'all can poison my ass. Say hell to the no. So she makes this tea. One thing I want to mention about tea, I drink a lot of tea. Not just the Long Island kind, but I do drink a lot of tea. I didn't like how she just poured the tea in a mason jar. Like, they actually do have um, round uh, strainers or whatever where you can put herbs in it. Like, same as if you're cooking and you want to put some rosemary, basil, whatnot, but you want that to flavor the uh, broth or whatever it is, but not have to go in and dig it out. You can put it in this little capsule and drop it in the, in the pot. And when you done, just pull it out. Like, my whole thing is like, why you ain't got something like that? So you just got the shit, the herbs and shit just floating around and shit. I don't know. But, hey, I ain't going to tell how to run her shit. But, Tanya, if you watching with your mess ass, suggestion. So here she goes sitting here on a certain pot saying, oh, I found this mug shot. And I need something from certain pot. Even though we need it for the drama button. Because it's making me not like you. It's really making me not like you. But, like, yeah, I found this mug shy. You feel what I'm saying? I done sat here and told Sam, so we feel like we should confront her. Juicy is getting, like, really? But Juicy then says, like, and she said her confession, as much as I would love to go in on this bitch and we all triple, double tag team ass, let's not do that. She says, let's not do this since things are good. She's like, well, Sam is a woman of her own, so I don't know. And again, putting, putting batteries batteries y'all put putting batteries in bitches backs and shit i'm just saying okay and then um but juicy is pretty much saying like this just ain't the time to do it we all done made peace so uh many and, and uh andrea i kept saying aubrey aubrey's baby me and andrea meet up and um long story short they reconcile but ooh. Andrea was messy gonna sit here and say, Yeah, you know, Sam and uh Amanda been hanging out a lot lately and Sam is telling us not to sit here and you know kick it with you because bitch you ain't trustworthy. I'm like, Lord. So we all know shit's about to pop, pop, pop off momentarily. Okay, so it's about to get good. I'ma try to just skip through uh Monty's part real quick. So she so her Moreland her brother and her biological father all sit down and you know what I saw between the brother and the father made me think like, it brought me back again I swear every almost anything everything's gonna remind me of my fucking relationship with my pops but like I said for those of who don't know we've had a very fucking rocky relationship you know like I said and a lot of it's you know starts from you know uh my parents divorcing at two and my father not playing as big a role in my life as he did in my brother's life. You know, yes, a, a motherfucker salty about that. But um, just the whole brother coming to the aid of their father saying, you know, he had a life-threatening surgery, this, that, and the third. And, you know, he loves you. The stepdad might be, you know, your daddy, but this is your father. And if you call him, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, rah, rah, dad, like, no matter what happens, no matter... If you die, you had this and the third, another change of blood in your veins. I'm your daddy. And I felt all that shit I did. But I, 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 I couldn't feel sorry. Especially if you have not played an active role. And one thing I have noticed with my father, more or less, and it took my mother to explain it to me, is that sense of entitlement where you call me, I'm the daddy, but my mom put that shit into perspective that when they grew up during their time, it was always the children reaching out to the parents, always calling the parents, make sure they're okay, this, that, and third. It was never the other way around, which I'm all for making sure that my parents were not okay. But 
as I've said, shit, a motherfucking phone work two motherfucking ways. If you feel so, like, if your whole thing is I ain't talked to my son in how long, why don't you call me? Rather than wait, and then that, then doing that whole thing of rather than me call you, I'm gonna call your brother and sit here and put a battery in your brother's back, so your brother can sit here and address you to guilt trip you into calling me. That's all that I got from this shit. And I really come for that because I, oof, because y'all may not feel it, but I, I swear I almost had a motherfucker never so I got. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna just group all the mini shit together. I need a moment to collect myself. I will be right the fuck back. <laughs> all right, y'all. So, um, so it's Minnie's B day, right? So, Minnie is supposed to be the new Minnie, right? She decides to address Sam because she says to Sam, "Well, you know, some things been uh brought to my attention." I'm just gonna put my damn watch on the charger. Oh, yeah. So things have been brought to my t- damn, damn it, they don't want to fucking sit on that. Hold on, hold on. There, there it is. So things have been brought to my attention that you had that you said these things about me. Blah 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 blah. Why don't you trust me? Now here's an issue that I have. First and foremost, if I got it, cameras. I got it. I got it. I got it. If you want to have a fucking TV moment, you can have a TV moment. My whole thing is that I all for and you know what was a real shit. I can't be mad. I can't fucking be mad at many for part of this. It's your party. You can sit here and, you know, call some shit to pop off if you fucking want to. It's your fucking party. So I'm not mad at her for that. But Tanya was said the exact same thing I was thinking. You can't get mad. You can't ask a motherfucker a question and get mad at the mother... At- what the fuck? Like, my whole thing is you can't sit here and, and say, hey, I'm a fucking target shoot, and you get mad when a motherfucker start shooting fucking bullets at your ass. You can't fucking be mad. You can't fucking, you can't sit here and say, I bet you won't swing on me. Or when a motherfucker swing on you, you fucking act surprised. You know what I'm saying? You can't fucking do no shit like that. So she went straight for the jugular and brought up the mugshot. And, of course, many felt some kind of way. And many mad she brought up the mugshot. And I felt many did not handle that the right fucking way, cause and because many said everybody has a past, and I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. Many says everybody has a past, and then from there, you know, things began to escalate, and many just like you know what, past the past, you know, I told everybody about it, they know everything about me. Fucking Tanya was, I'm not Tanya, Sam was, was fucking the G about so so they knew about you fucking the pregnancy. And, you know, shit starts to build, starts to fucking escalate, and they literally just go the fuck at it. And Juicy, not Juicy, Minnie literally took what her mother said to um heart and got real aggressive, this, that, and the third. And all I must say is this, I was so fucking here for that one woman in the back. Because it was one of those where she was just sitting back, just like this shit, funny as hell. They going the fuck like that's the look she was. Getting. I'm saying like shit. I would have been fucking entertained too. I I would have been like, I would have been like Safari. I'm loving hip hop Hollywood. Sitting there eating my food, entertained. Okay, but um, you know they have the insoles. I'm not gonna get to the motherfucking insoles because it ain't that fucking important. Because I done talked enough, and again, I feel that I'm going to go here again. I believe I mentioned this in my um, review last week. I think that I did. <clears throat> if I, I, I should, I, I'm back on my review, so I don't know what review I, I mentioned it in. But if if I didn't say in my review last week, fucking watch my reviews for y'all which one it was in. <clears throat> but I talked about leaving shit in the review. You know what I'm saying? Leave whatever happened back there, <clears throat> leave it the fuck back there. Yes, there are going to be people that's going to bring what happened back there right here into your 2017, into your present. If that mo- if people want to do it and if motherfuckers want to sit here and constantly remind you of the motherfucker that you once was to keep from being the motherfucker you once was, leave their ass back there with the problems and with the person that you fucking used to be. It's that damn simple. Because <clears throat> the way I would have, and here's the thing, because Sam, whole thing is if you friend with somebody, they didn't know everything about you. I don't necessarily fucking agree. We we all have a past. Damn it, I have well, shit. I have fucking several. Depending, on, my whole thing is it depending on which um stage of life you catch me at. 
I've like every time I because I I look back, reminisce, reflected, and became a different person and tried to be better than I was <clears throat> the last day, the last moment, the last second, the last year. So, and it's one of those where it's just like, unless what happened back here can affect where we are right now, ain't no need for me to sit here and bring up what happened back there. Because it's one of those where don't everybody need to know every fucking thing about you, especially when the mother, and the way she should have it is, that was the past, it is what it is. And when that person decides they want to keep going forward, that's the past. Now, what I, again, I would not have invited that to my birthday. But when it would have came up, would have been like, well, that was the past. This is now. So did you tell everybody about your about about the mugshot? No, I didn't. Because that is the past and this is now. So do they know what it was about? That was the past. This is now. I would have hit up with Alicia Keys featuring John Mayer from her album As I Am, Less is Learned. It's called the past because I'm getting past and I ain't nothing like I was before. Like it would have been one of those where I would have I would have flipped it to where that person would have been so mad because you're trying to get a rise out of me and you ain't fucking getting it. And after that, it would have been one of those where it's like, you know what? Today's my birthday. Today is about the here and now. Since you want to sit here and talk about where I was so many years ago, you can actually leave and go back in time and go find me back then. But right now, you can't be here in this moment with me. Because since you want to be back there, you're not in the moment. So I don't want you in the moment. You can please leave. Here's the thing. Like, I can turn the fuck up, but I can eloquently get your ass the fuck together. And that's what I would have done. But again, if I, before I even get to that, before I even sign off, Tanya did not leave with her friend, which I felt that she should have left with her friend. You know, my whole thing is that if if I'm cool with a whole lot of people it is what but if I got a fucking ride or die and my ride I get the fuck up man I'm going my fucking ride or die because it is what the fuck it is like shit shit we here you feel what I'm saying like I'm gonna fucking leave with you even in the event that if that person is wrong maybe maybe not but I think the reason Tanya stayed is to hear what the fuck was gonna be said about the friend so she could sit there and shut that shit down and Tanya said you can't, long story short, you can't get mad that she came for you the way that she did because you brought this shit up. You brought this shit to yourself. And I'm going to start calling Tanya the sage lady. And, you know, it seemed like don't nobody want to come at the sage lady because of the aura that she fucking brings. But it's one of those where the sage lady did not say to many, I'm the reason that she knows about it. But, okay, all I'm going to say is this. Many says you want to pop the fuck off. Right, you better do this shit at the reunion. And again, let me say to y'all, we are right here. Y'all need to live in the moment, looking towards your future. As, And again, imagine you that you are in a car. The inside of the car is as big as the inside of the car is. The fucking, you know, rear view mirrors, you know, pass side with mirror, driver side with mirror, they're small for a reason. Because you're supposed to glance at it. You're not supposed to stare at it. If you stare at it, you're going to probably crash and hurt yourself, kill yourself. It ain't for you to sit here and live with what's back there. It's for you to glance at every now and then as a, you know, as a reminder, you know, when shit happened, caution, you know, before you sit here and turn, like, well, let me look back right quick, you know, but what you're supposed to do is live in the here and now, but be staring out to the future because that future is going to creep up on you and it's going to come whether or not you're ready for it or not. So what you don't want to do is be living in living in the past. Leave everyone and everything that ain't trying to sit here and be in your present and push you towards the future. And leave their ass in the fucking review. And with that being said, rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see your asses next week for this shit yet again. Uh, if y'all checking out my other reviews, I will see you guys Friday for Married to Medicine, Sunday for the Real Households of Atlanta, and Monday for Love Hip Hop New York. Peace.